in that category here, yeah. but uh, we all speak well of those we serve with. Uh, but thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I really do appreciate uh, the committee's time and attention to this, and I really appreciate the work of the committee uh, at recognizing national monuments and the legacy of these magnificent lands that we have throughout uh, this great country. My request here is uh, for the House to act on uh, a bill that the Senate has acted on, and it did have unanimous support in the Senate, uh, led by our two senators, Senator Sanders and Senator Leahy, uh, that would uh, designate uh, the upper Missisquoi and Trout Rivers in northern Vermont to the National Wild and Scenic River System. Uh, two things. Number one, as you know, in order to get that designation, there have to be some particularly outstanding values. And let me just tell you what they are of the natural landscape. Th there's 35.1 miles uh, of the upper Missisquoi that would be designated, and there's 11 miles of its major tributary, the Trout River, that would be designated. And among the things that make these unique is that they're, they go through unspoiled farmland, they have some of the best fishing uh, in Vermont or New England. The Trout River is a good place to catch, as you might expect, trout. Uh, we've got what in Vermont are considered to be uh, very large waterfalls. Now, I know I'm talking to somebody from Utah, Arizona, and California, and what you call big is different uh, than what Mr. Holt and I call big. This is a 40-foot drop over two drops. But in Vermont, that's a big <laughs> waterfall. And then it goes through a gorge. And again, there's gorges and gorges. But in Vermont, a 60-foot high wall of uh, 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 river, a gorge is pretty spectacular uh, where I come from. Uh, and then another part of these that is quite magnificent is in the Missisco River up in the northern town of Montgomery that's right close to the Canadian border. There's six covered bridges uh, that are still in use. That's regular everyday transportation. And there's a seventh that's being repaired, all built by the same brothers in the early 1800s, the Jewett brothers. So these are just spectacular, iconic uh, landscapes for Vermont, uh, gorges and uh, falls uh, that uh, are very important for us to have uh, protected. Second, and I know this is of concern to you, particularly from the Western lands, Mr. Bishop, you've made this uh, clear. Uh, these properties, these rivers, this designation is all on private property. <clears throat> and in order for this designation to be requested, the voters in all of the affected towns at town meeting had a discussion, had a debate, and voted in order to support the designation of the section of the river, the Missisquoi and the Trout, that went through uh, their town. So town meeting voters, and we're going to be having another town meeting in, in really a couple of weeks in towns of Berkshire, Enosburg Falls, Enosburg, Montgomery, North Troy, Richford, Troy, and Westfield, they voted by overwhelming margins to request this. So there is a local input that is the basis of Senator Leahy Sanders and I being here requesting congressional authorization. One town didn't vote for it, the town of Lowell. It's a 3.8 mile section. Uh, so we're not requesting a designation of that section of the Missisquoi that goes through Lowell as a result of the town vote. The legislation would provide some opportunity for Lowell to change its mind and ask to be included, but it would be upon their own decision. So we uh, believe that with the local input uh, and the opportunity now to work with state federal uh, and local officials. Uh, this is something that's going to be of immense benefit to the people in the watershed areas of the 35 miles in the Missisquoi, uh, the 11 miles on the Trout. We, uh, we also believe that some of the uh, concerns that have been expressed about uh, public lands in the West are, are really not quite relevant to this New England situation that we're in. So this is the request of the people I represent. Uh, and we really appreciate uh, any consideration that this committee can give us. And finally, I have some letters of support from Vermont uh, organizations that are very much involved in this and would seek your uh, permission to make them part of the record. Thank you. They'll be added, obviously, in your testimony. Yeah.